When you hear bad USB, this is where it all started, the Hack 5 Rubber Ducky. This was first released 12 years ago, 2011, and last 2022, it was refreshed with several new features. So let's take a look at what's new. The first update is with this button. Now, as you can see, this button can be accessed from inside the rubber ducky by removing the case. Now, the first thing you need to do is that this case, in order for you to press this button from the outside, is to add the stickers that are supplied with the rubber ducky. Now, this button serves as a switch from a USB drive into our mode meaning when you are trying to put a script in it you go to you just click it and it will be a USB thumb drive and when you're about to execute the payload you just click it again and it will run whatever payload is in here on the previous version this button serves as a reset function allowing you to rerun the script and in order to put the payload on the rubber ducky, you need to remove the SD card and transfer the payload on that SD card. And this is a very, very convenient update made for this version. The first version of the ducky script was developed around 2010. And it only has like keystroke injections and delay. Fast forward to 2022, uh, the third version of the Ducky script has been introduced. And now it has control flows like if then else, repetition like while loops, functions, and extension. Like for example, on this script, which is an exploit of the Citrix Netscaler ADC. As you can see, it uses an if-else statement to implement different steps based on the OS that it has detected. Now, since mobile devices has a native keyboard support, which means that keystroke injection attack will work on mobile devices, now the rubber ducky has a physical USB type C in it and what we're gonna do um, let's go to the computer and let's create a script or let's download the script where you can brute force the pin code on the lock screen now hack5 has this payload help this is where the community submits their payload or the scripts that they have created and you can choose the, choose the device USB rubber ducky and let's choose mobile Android and let's choose this Android pin brute force click download and here we can see the script okay so here is the script let's just copy it let's go to the payload studio community edition and what we're gonna do is Control A, Control B, paste it, and let's try to generate payload to compile it. As you can see, the payload has complete, um, compiled successfully, and that bin file, this one that we're gonna download, is the one that we will transfer to our rubber ducky. Now that the payload is inside the rubber ducky let's try it out let's open this phone and insert the rubber ducky click here and as you can see it is now trying out different pin codes and entering it
This new version of the rubber ducky brings a much needed improvement in order to modernize it. And I believe that the main advantage of this is the implementation of the ducky script 3, which most of the bad USB out there doesn't support. And with it, you can make more complex script and it is a more full-fledged scripting language. Now, for the price, I was a little disappointed that it cannot handle multiple scripts and has no Wi-Fi interface. For reference, this WHID Wi-Fi Cactus is one-third of the price of the rubber ducky. And for those reasons, I think the OMG Plug Basic at the same price point is a better buy. And if you enjoy this video, feel free to check out my other videos here on Hakista TV. Till next time, my fellow Hakista.